Hey guys, very impressionable and easy to manipulate teenager coming at you. That's my nickname online. I, I don't know why people call me that. It's just a uh, little joke we have here on the channel, guys. And I'm gonna review, you know, people have been asking me, you know, that beard struggle. Is it a scam? Is it real? All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. So, I, you know, an ad popped up on Facebook. You know, I was just scrolling through my feed like I do, and I was like, wow, this, this company here, The Beard Struggle, says that, you know, the ingredients within their beard oil can fill out patches in your beard. I had a baby beard at the time. My God, I looked like, uh, oh, actually, I'll show you a picture, right? That's how I looked before uh, the beard struggle. Crazy, man. Um, and, and then I, I looked up a review, right? Because I wanted, wanted to see the testimonials. And then uh, this fellow with a nice big beard popped up uh, on the YouTube channel. And this is, something kind of popped up here. I, I didn't think too much of it. Um, Vernon Washington says, I read on the website that the products grow your beard. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what they do claim. Uh, the Beard Struggle it re replies, you can't grow a beard where there is none. No solution for that. But if you if you have hairs growing there, uh, there are products that can help increase the rates. No new growth, though. Okay, so a little bit of an inconsistency there. I didn't think much of it. You, you know, like, if I was, if I ran such a big company, I think I would f forget about all the claim, all the claims we're making, too. Just, you know, maybe this, maybe they forgot. Okay, I, I, I didn't blame them for that. So, you know, I bought some, came in a nice little package, smelled great. Put it on my face and boom, three minutes later, I had a nice face forest. My God, it, it was, uh, you know, just, just imagine this. Look at this transformation, guys. Three minutes, that's all it took. And then I, then I thought to myself, well, what if I, <laughs> don't judge me for this, guys. Okay, this groomed the bread, so, so why not my John Thomas, my member, my wife's best friends, my uh, my Wilhelm, if you will. So, you know, I got a, got a big, uh, uh, got a big splotch of it, just put it right down there on my long schlong, and so uh, I... It's hard to talk about. Uh, it, what happened actually was really, really bad. I um, uh, it actually grew too big, so I have to go in for reduction surgery uh, coming up soon. Uh, it's really, really expensive, guys. So um, don't apply the beard struggle to your peen. Apply it to your beard because it most definitely, um, you know, has the properties within it to uh, activate new beard growth. You know, like it's. Uh, well, it, I think it contains minoxidil because minoxidil is the only thing to, uh, you know, activate dormant follicles. Let's take a look at the ingredients here. Oh, oh, no, no, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Um, what, what, what does it contain then? Oh, okay, I, I, I get it. So if you look in the ingredients, uh, one of the ingredients is actually Viking semen. So th that makes sense. Okay, I, I take all of those comments back. Um, Actually, now that I think about it, um, you know, I've seen a couple testimonials, and it's it, it almost appears that like every single testimonial I see, the coverage and uh, the beards when they're grown out, and people you know saying good things about the beard struggle, it's almost like their coverage was good enough already, and then uh, when they grow it out, their patches fill out, and all of a sudden hey, they have a nice beard, and it seems as though the product has done good things, but when in reality, it's just kind of a placebo, and they're being, you know, charged an astronomical amount for a regular beard oil. Um, but uh, I think we could throw that out the window due to the Viking semen and such. I, I think that is undeniable, 100%, that there is absolutely no way that there is any, anything fucky going on. Uh, and if you disagree with me, then I'm going to block you. <laughs> that's, that's just far, I, I'm, I, I'm very stern about that. And then I saw this video from this handsome fellow named, uh, Scoop, Scoobers, the, s s Scuba, b Beard, Beard, Beard Scoobs, uh, Beard Tube. And he was all like, 
you know, comparing the heat brush from the uh, uh, Beard Struggle and the heat brush from the uh, uh, from AliExpress, which is fifteen dollars compared to the hundred dollars from Beard Struggle. And I was like, right away, I was like, hey, hey, don't knock at my boys the Beard Struggle. You, it, it's, they're smoke and mirrors playing here. And I was like, wait a minute, a hundred dollars? Well, it's wireless, of course. Of course, it's gonna be a hundred dollars if it's wireless. And. Uh, I started thinking to myself, uh, yeah, like totally a, a beard company totally makes a uh, heat brush in-house. I'm sure they have the technicians, they have the technology, they have the expertise to make a complex heating device uh, in their own facilities. That makes sense? Okay, let's put it this way. I, like, I personally have done some drop shipping in the past, and you know, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I had a couple, you, you know, a, a couple things that you know I put a pretty substantial margin on. Um, like, I, I sold pug pillows. This is a true story, by the way. I, I sold pug pillows. I sold uh, watches and stuff like that. You know, I'd, I'd put a nice ten dollar, fifteen dollar margin on it, or something along those lines. Um, I, I'm you know, I'm going to be honest about that. Um, but, you know, when people ask me about it, uh, if I made it, I said, no, <laughs> this is a drop shipping store, right? This, this is what I do. I never slapped my own logo on it, but I'm sure they had virtuous intentions when they slapped those logos on there. My boys over the beard struggle would not, I can't see a possible reality where they are a bunch of scummy scammers that know that young men are impressionable and have no conception over what is actually capable of activating dormant follicles. That is, that is a misconception that has to die right now. And never have they ever tried to uh, manipulate a small YouTuber like me either by sending me a small discount code uh, for, you know, email that I unfortunately deleted uh, or, or, or didn't delete, sorry. Uh, and, you know, saying, hey, this is going to grow, uh, you know, fill out your patches and your beard and also grow your long schlong. So please buy this and then review it on your channel. Never have they ever done that to me. And even if they did, I would see no problem with that whatsoever. I really don't. So, uh, Beard Struggle, uh, really, really good, fun and good. Not a terrible company full of terrible, terrible, manipulative people. And I, every single amount of re reputation and every single good review that they have is not because of the placebo effect and their manipulation you know, tactics, it is purely because it is a good product. So cheers.